all the best wishes to you on the festival of uh, Guri Pavanima. As you all know, the prime teacher is nature. Nature is the prime teacher. Now if you want to discuss as to how you can define nature as the prime teacher, you can understand from the aspect of people meeting the situations. Do you know how people meet various situations? How people go through various situations? People go through various situations with the direction of nature in the sense nature is the host to arrange the situation for you in the sense the primary aspect or the prime uh, objective of uh, nature is to move all the souls towards meeting each other for the objective of getting relieved from their karma but these souls what do they do is as they have the traits the gunas sattva rajo tamo because of these gunas through the meetings arranged by the nature they actually do not deal with the situation as per their inner core nature but they deal with the situations with any of the sattva rajo guna if they deal through sattva they land up with good karma if they deal with rajo and tamo gunas they accumulate karma most of the people accumulate karma instead of getting relieved from karma so the objectives of the nature are not being met so the situations you understand people learn through the situations they deal with the guna once and they will know that they fail and second time they again deal with the same same kind of situation but this time they he'll be very careful to deal with the situation in a balanced way but even in the second time if his guna overrules him then he deals with the situation again with the same trait by which he again falls down so through the situations he learns basically so who is the teacher here nature is the teacher you think nature is writing any books or preaching anything or uh, discussing anything no it's a very silent teaching and practical teaching of nature all the religions teach discipline and devotion by which man gets prepared for spirituality which is the objective of actually religions now you know nature is the teacher nature is the prime teacher and nature is teaching very very silently do you know how uh, the opportunities naturally come to you the door knocking opportunities it is the nature who gives you the opportunities it is the nature who is showing where the food is to animals do you know the energy behind the digestive system of your stomach it is the energy of nature that digests or operates the organs in your body 
and do you know most of the energy where it goes you only consume some part of the energy that is produced in the system some energy again gets sucked into the cosmic energy so you understand the whole thing is a, is an integrated soul system when you don't sleep for 2 days you would know as to not having energy in you so what do you do when you sleep how do you get the energy where do you get the energy from it is the energy field of the nature you suck the energy by which you are able to live and if you don't have sleep for 2 days even if you eat you would not gain energy now do you compare scientifically science says you get the energy from your food okay but what happens with the sleep when you don't have the sleep what would happen nature is the integrated energetic field it is a practical field it is a war field where what you read or what you learn out of your religions our life gets basically executed in a practical way in the field of nature you may read theory many books and you may practice many more rituals in your religion but the situations are manifested by nature in the field of nature for you to get rid of your karma so that you move forward when you get relieved relieved from your karma it means it's like you have an old car when you get rid of old car you get a new car karma burning has got a lot of benefits but these people fools they don't burn the karma they accumulate more karma in the sense they don't let the old car go they are hugging to the old car then how would they get the new car how would they get better finances how would they get better health how would they get uh, better relations how would they get better opportunities better career unless they get to leave from the old car that's the problem so here i wish uh, you all uh, on the uh, festival of guru purnima guru is the nature the prime teacher the silent teacher today you can uh, say uh, namaste to uh, to the nature you can uh, Uh, give you a love to the nature probably you can donate some money to some people who are in the nature that helps you uh, on this day and this kriya whatever the kriya that's happening with you that gets integrated with me anywhere you are whoever uh, has got this spinning kriya in the world they get integrated with me they get integrated with each other actually all the spinning soul in the world are integrated to each other even if they are not physically met with each other they don't even if they don't meet with each other they are connected to each other by soul and every uh, soul kriya is dependent on another soul you understand so hail nature today nature is the prime teacher consider nature as your guru teacher friend brother mother all is nature if you don't have faith what you can do is you anyway you are into religion so yeah your god to nature in the sense 
or whoever is the God that we have been having the faith in. To that God, he add the five elements and their mantras. Five elements are nothing but the chakras within you. It is the channel through which you connect to your spirit. You understand? So, uh, through the spirit and channel, you would be able to meet the God or see the God or experience the God in your uh, dreams or in your sleep, in your subconscious level. To experience Him, you need to take the technical path of nature, that is five elements. Technically, you would be connected to the soul and from there to the nature, from there to the the God whom you have been having the faith in and then you would be able to have the experience of the God whoever it is, it could be Jesus Christ or it could be Allah or it could be uh, Muhammad or it could be uh, Ram, it could be Krishna, it could be Lord Shiva or anyone whatever the religion you belong to, you can experience the God okay, hail the nature, all the best wishes to you my loves to you Technically you have the sounds behind. I have a temple in front of my house and they are naturally ringing now. Did I ask them to uh, make the sounds of these bells? They are naturally belling. So what's the sign of it? This is how nature works. Sounds, these sounds are home. They are significance for the uh, for the best things that happen in the world. My true loves and wishes to you, your families. <laughs> 